Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ, you guys, tonight or today or whatever time you are watching this video. We are making spreadable butter. Some people call it margarine, some people call it butter. I don't care. It's home, you know, you're doing it yourself, you know what's in it, so no problems there. It's, it's a good spread, you guys are gonna like it, okay? And I am making it out of powdered milk, okay? And you guys, in my last video, I spelt this wrong. I spelled it N-I-T-O. It's N-I-D-O, okay? But anyway, I just now emptied this can into my canister. And what I do, just so that y'all know, is I'll take the instructions. Let me see if I can get it off of here. which is right there. And of course, I will cut it out good. And I'll tape it. Like that, to the bottom of my lid. That's how I do that kind of stuff. But I'll put it to the side for now. I don't want it to get wet or anything. Okay, we're going to do this the easy, quick, and simple way. Now, you guys, you also can do this in like a mason jar or anything like that. And just shake it for about 15 minutes. You're going to get the same result. But to me, it's going to be quicker and easier to do this, to do it this way for this video. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one cup of powdered milk. And I'm using... Of course, whole milk. That's what this is, y'all. I don't buy the um, the other stuff anymore. I used to. I don't anymore because I now know I can do a whole lot more with this. And it costs around the same price. Okay, so one cup of powdered milk. One third cup of water. Okay. One fourth cup plus one teaspoon of oil. I am using olive oil, okay? Extra virgin is good. You can use coconut oil. You guys can use anything you want. And if you're doing this in a time of... Um, major need and you just use whatever you have okay plus one teaspoon y'all I'm sorry this camera angle is horrific okay a little bit too much it'd be all right though. okay and this is optional one eighth teaspoon of salt Completely optional. If you guys can't have salt, don't worry about it. Don't add it. Okay. Now all we're going to do is make, mix this stuff, and it's going to be ready to spread on bread, you know, hot bread. Oh, my gosh, yes. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. And if you want, you can add garlic to it and have garlic butter. Italian seasonings, you can add to it. You can do all kinds of stuff with this stuff, okay? So, let's see what we get. It's already clumping up good. Let me get a spoon. It tastes like butter, but it's um, 
The consistency isn't all that great right now. So I'm going to do it a little while longer. Y'all, my, my son is looking for vanilla pudding. It's sweet. I think I'm going to add a little bit more oil, okay? Just a bit. Oh, come on. So that's how much I did. About a tablespoon? I don't know. like last resort butter okay if you you know you find yourself not being able to go to the store because of crazy obvious reasons coming up um this is something you can do and to make up for it okay because some people don't prep on butter okay that's a little bit better I think once it melts on the bread, whatever you're putting it on, it'd be perfect. But right now, the consistency is just like, woo, you know, that type of deal. So, yeah, that's all there is to it, you guys. It is sweeter, or it tastes sweeter to me than um, regular butter. But this will do in a pinch, okay? This will do in a pinch. So, you guys, try it out. Tell me what you think. And I guess I should have put it on some hot bread or something for you, but I got to cook, y'all. I ain't cooked yet, and it's getting late. So I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit that like button, y'all. Share and subscribe. Bye-bye.